well move up to try and challenge Oli Hind. I think he uh, I think he used a lot of energy up on the backstroke just to stay on terms with Oli Hind. And it cost him later on in the race. But on now to the women's edition of the SM8 200 individual medley. Alba Kelly in lane number one, 17 year old from Ireland. And already silver medalist yesterday in the 400 free, Duskiva. The champion yesterday in the 400 free is Amelie Minta. Messia Vladikina, well, champion in 2009 and 11 here. Pavlova, 17 year old in five, Sogamonian in lane number six, Belcheska in lane number seven from Poland. Three Russians side by side in lane four, five and six. Stephanie Slater from Great Britain is a European record holder. And the world record is held by Jessica Long of the USA. Don't expect that the world record will be challenged by these swimmers, but we may see a good time from Alessia Ladikina in lane number four, Russia took it very, very easy, as she often does in the heats, in a time of 255.55. Expect that to be significantly faster in this final. Well, as we've spoken about earlier, the often the key to a good medley is having a strong breaststroke leg, and Vladikina is a fantastic breaststroker. Very slow turnover on the butterfly. Looks quite laboured. But Russia go round the wall. One, two, and three. Vladikina, Sogmonian, and Pavlova. Well, we haven't seen one nation take all the medals in a single event so far. A good chance here for the three Russians to do that. Sogmonian did feature heavily in the early stages of the heats this morning, but just dropped off the pace a little in the closing stages. Emily Winter will be strong, the 400 metres freestyle champion. She is in lane number three and down in fifth position at the moment. Belcheska going well for Poland, but it's still Russia one. Lanikina, Pavlova in second, and Sogomonian in third position here. Yeah. Russia looking good for the clean sweep in this one. They were leading the medal table after day one, the second to Ukraine in day two, but Vladikina, well, she's almost out of sight as soon as they get onto her favoured breaststroke part of the medley. Absolutely, well, she just, within the first five metres of the breaststroke, seemed to have extended her lead, almost doubled it. Well. Now she has an absolutely unassailable lead, almost, well, by my reckoning, almost 15 meters on her country compatriot, Pavlova. She's onto the freestyle now, going back the other way, and Pavlova just coming around the wall there, but this is Vladikina in the center of your screen. Very, very slow stroke turnover, a real trademark of hers. It's going to be quite a, a decent time, I think, for Alicia Radikina. She is going to win this one by a very, very large margin here. Vladikina, look at this display. This is absolutely fantastic. Almost 20 meter advantage as she comes into the closing stages. It's a time of 244.27. She is going to be followed home by her countrymate. Pavlova and look at Amelie Winter go in the closing stages here. The Danish swimmer is really putting on a sprint on the freestyle. She has gone past the third Russian, Sogomonian. Pavlova will take the silver and Amelie Winter will spoil the Russian party here by getting in for the bronze medal position. But it was a dominant, dominant performance there by Alicia Vladikina. We say so often. As you said, the breaststroke is the important part of the medley in many, many cases. And her breaststroke is so good that it's just hard to live with that pace. Yeah, absolutely. It's, in fact, her breaststroke is so good that I would go so far as to say that her, she's got three average strokes and a blistering breaststroke. 
When we see her swim, a butterfly here, her starts are always good, but she comes up, it's very, very slow stroke turnover, but the distance that she gets per stroke on the breaststroke is something that every swimmer would envy. When she gets onto the freestyle, well, it's, it's all right, uh, but it's just not a patch. It's not a patch on a breaststroke at all. There's the finish. She possibly could have done a bit more of a reach. Well, Stephanie Slater of Great Britain, the European record holder, is here, but has decided to not enter this race. Yeah, just doing selected events this week. Stephanie Slater, we'll see her hopefully later in the programme here at these championships. But it's Russia 1 and 2, Adikina and Pavlova take the gold and silver. Emily Winter, another medal for Denmark in third.